Ooh. Yeah. That's all right. So match is going live. I'm going to let's see. Let's watch Crux the first minute. A lot of people talk about uh, Duatna being one of the star demo men and I am this season, but let's see how the opposing demo man matches up at this first minute as they roll out. And Duatna is a little bit quicker here. He lands the first sticky on Crux as well, but still relatively even bit. So Crux is trying to put a lot of spam on that left side, not really damaging anything. Finally starting to hurt a soldier as dummy goes down really early here. He's still trying to pipe that soldier. Both teams with a 5 on 5 here, but it looks like Runway 5 is positioning on point, and this should be their mid fight right here as SS goes down as well. And I think Runway 5 has this one in his bag. Stay able to keep the medic alive. Yeah, Dummy just bombed in, you know, super early that mid and got picked, and the rest of his team didn't follow up, so it's kind of like a 5 on 6 middle. So now they're just left here defending two above the map weavers, so. Yeah. As a uh, Scarlet, the pocket is he the pocket soldier? Maybe for I think him and DJC might have swapped here, but uh, Uber is forced out of both teams. But Runway Five with a much better Uber. However, they are down too. They need to get out of this fight like right now because they're gonna lose this when they're down all these numbers. And it looks like DJC goes down as well. Zelox goes down. It's just the medic and Duat. And as he's trying to back out lower, he's being chased by a scout here, and he goes down to the soldier. They might have just bought his medic enough time to get out. So, yeah, it looks like Overseer should be able to escape. So Duana did a good job there, just staying alive and uh, giving Overseer enough time to at least stay alive and back up and defend too. Yeah, definitely. But here we see about a 30% Uber advantage for Snailboat as they're starting to push lower, not waiting for Uber here. I like this uh, early aggression as the soldier tries to bomb in early, but DJC just goes down. Is there's no follow-up from his team as they're sitting back and the Uber's about to get going here. It looks like yeah, it says the Uber is forced here from a uh, runway er, from sailboat, so nice aggression out of runway five there, as they'll now have the Uber advantage. It'd be interesting to see whether or not they push out in the two with it or if they just hold last. Yeah, it looked like snailboats were just content to take second with that Uber, and I guess they're just gonna try and you know, a sec the second point here is really easy to defend, even if the other team has Uber, so I guess they're just going to try and see if they can force the other team's Uber and then hold the second point still. Yeah, as uh, we see Scarlet and Duatna pushing out here, the Uber is forced. They're able to kill the other team's pocket soldier, but uh, they need to start the cap time here, because otherwise the forward oh, squads will too much. As we have a back cap here from a scout. Wow, and that's, snail boat that's the thing about this second. Around. There's so many different areas that you can get behind. The team that's pushing out, even if you have your advantage like that, it's just really hard to get the second point back. So snail boat did a good job there getting someone behind again the cap. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I'm gonna watch Dummy this mid because yeah. I mean everyone thinks of Dummy. You think of the Golden Boy Gaming, or, you know, the top 20 demo man. But uh, <laughs> making his debut here on Roaming Soldiers, he jumps to this top left, misses an early spam rocket, jumps Big in. Ball. It looks like is he going? He's going for the medic here. He hits one decent rocket, not able to finish the kill though. Just the medic to 30 health, and this is looking like another Runaway Five uh, mid fight here. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> They're just like not focusing the people that are pushing up on point. Dummy's just only going for the medic right now, it seems, which is a problem that like a lot of people who don't really play Roamer have. So uh, the runaway fight was pushed up, and they should be able to get second here, or at least force the other team's Uber, which they have, but they yeah. don't have it yet. Ah, uh, they're about to get theirs. Yeah. Both teams having Uber. Here comes the pop out of them. They should be able to at least collect they a couple of kills here as well here. as two. Oh, they're on the demo. The demo yeah. should go down here. And this should be around for them here. There's one scout behind, but he goes down. And at this point, 5v3, they're going to be pushing in. And this should yeah. be around for Runway so what, 5. Should just lay some stickies on point here or something. Walk on it. Yep. A lot of frags we see here. And there it is. Runway 5. So we're 1 to 1. A quick right couple here. of rounds, yeah, on Snake Water. I like it. I hope they can keep up this pace so we don't see a couple long stalemates that this map's known for. Yeah, definitely. Uh. So I'm gonna watch Duatna this mid, because he's sort of like the star player for Runway 5, so... Let's see if he can live up to the hype as he gets to mid about the same time as the other demo. No early damage so far being put on each other. He's trying to push this left side kitchen and Sticky the Shed. Not able to connect with any damage so far. There's uh, nothing really happening here. Ooh, he's wow. able to catch an air Sticky on Dummy and he's just plus forwarding, not being contested at all, but... His entire team is dying around him. This is a good... This might be Snailboat's first mid. His scout is on the medic here, the med's at 8 health, and B-Man with the pistol kill is able to drop him. Is Duat not going to be able to escape? Uh, I think someone be cutting him off. Yeah, the scout's cutting him off. Oh, oh. the sticky's dodging him, flying oh. around. <laughs> B-Man with the kill there, so... Yeah, that mid looked like it was going to be another one that was going to go in uh, 
uh, Runaway 5's favor. They got the early pick on Dummy, but I guess the scouts for Snailboat's boat just ended up cleaning up the rest of the team. So that was a good mid, even though they lost Dummy early on it again. Yeah, definitely. As uh, we see um, Snailboat trying to push in on this left side as the other team's trying to set up a sentry gun as well as a heavy. They're able to kill the sentry gun early, but they're finally popped. This should be good. They just can focus a couple of frags on the heavy. Heavy's got so much help. They finally yeah, get on. Heavy goes down, demo goes down. Ooh, this. Three on three. Three on three fight. Uh, oh, just the pocket on. soldier. Didn't even get the med, so Overseas is going to have a huge red advantage pushing out into two here. Yeah, definitely. I feel like they committed a lot of resources to killing that heavy, but yeah. I mean, heavy is just such a powerful class. They just online. didn't focus them fast enough. Like, they got gun and shot some other stuff. If there's a heavy, it should just be the first thing you shoot at with, like, everyone and just put, like, six different people damaging it. But it looks like Snailbolt is coming back in here and contesting second, taking a lot of damage from the Devil Man on the whatnot. Uh, the this Uber here, word. though, is up for on um, Runway 5, and I'd like to see this combo just push into him right here. Like, yeah. Finish they off these kills. lost three people here. They're not going to be able to hold mid. They're probably not going to be able to force Overseer here on mid. They're just yeah, back probably not. Oh, wait. They oh, he uses? Forced. Uh, that's kind of a questionable pop there, but yeah, they're, they're all they're really going to get with this is Minna. I felt like they could have just cat moved their scouts and kept rolling, but it looks like they're still trying to go anyways. Now they don't have the Uber. This is really good aggression, but DJC bombs in kind of early. That support from the rest of his team, and they might lose both soldiers here. Yeah, now, now Snailboats is pushing back in with their Uber up. If Overseer would just held that Uber, they could have taken two with this, but now they're going to be ending up getting forced out of mid. That was a questionable pop, because she was full health still. I don't know why she popped. Maybe someone was weak, but... Yeah, maybe somebody thought there was a sticky trap there or something, but people were yeah. already in fighting, so... Probably could have gotten little, in clean there, so... I'm gonna let my cat out real quick so you can <laughs> keep taking over <laughs> okay, the I'll second push. this second push. We see the Uber is forced on the right side. Runaway 5 is at 90%. I'm gonna... They're probably gonna be coming back in here with their pocket soldier. Yeah, Scarlet's gonna walk back in right now. Here he comes. The Uber's forced. He's, what is he shooting now? He's shooting the pocket soldier right now. He needs to get to point, though. As he loses Roma, the health actually isn't that great for Runaway 5 right now. Snailboat? Yeah, Snailboat should fight this as we have the 4 on 4 fight. The next two frags... They're kind of going to determine who wins this fight. Unless... Is Snailboat committing? No, they have a scout on the ground. Where's the rest of his team? Said so, no, it looks like they're falling out here. Yeah. So, Runway 5 with a successful defense. And Ubers are going to be about even here. Dummy was trying to go for like a flank. He was in uh, cheese and almost got around behind him. But the whatnot caught him with a sticky and knew he was there. So he locked him out. So, if Dummy had just been able to sneak behind there, he could have gotten a medic and something else easy. But... Yeah, now we're just back here at the second choke, which is kind of one that a lot of teams have trouble pushing in, just because there's so many ways to take damage early. Definitely, as we see a snail boat actually trying to push in towards this cheese side with their combo. Now as the medic drops down, both teams are going to be popping Uber here, but an early kill on those scout could turn this... Oh no, never mind. As uh, they drop their pocket soldier, but there are no scouts for runway 5, which means they should probably fall out of this fight. But yeah, doing no scouts after Uber is never something you want. Yeah, scouts are the things that are meant at the end of the Ubers that can just clean up everything. So that's when scouts are most important at the end of Ubers. So if the scouts go down during the Ubers, it's, the fight's probably not going to go in your favor. Definitely, as we see the heavy sniper defense coming out of uh, Runway 5 holding their last. And it looks uh -oh. like we're going to have a <laughs> little bit of a stalemate situation yeah. here. This is what Snake Water is known for. Teams running heavy, sniper, almost anything to defend the push. It's just one of those lasts that it's just so long and teams just are don't they just don't want to fail pushes on it, they just take it really cautiously. So yeah. we might be here at this point for a little bit while Snail Boat's trying to figure out how they want to push it. Oh, looks well, like they're gonna come from that. right door with the demo man, it looks like they're walking close. Oh, yeah. they're just gonna have a dry Uber here, it looks like, as the soldier just gets launched in the sky and the... This is gonna be bad, they're gonna bad have Uber, yeah. Let's see, as uh, they're trying to fall out here, the pocket soldier's trying to chase, but uh... This is kind of one weakness to running, like, a heavy sniper defense, is like, when the Ubers fade, you don't really have scouts, there's a... Uh, Snailboat trying to sack players in for the other team's medic. They might Whoa, kill a demo Snailboat. man here, actually. Yeah, so they this is a back in here. three on like three situation up. here. But there's yeah. an overhealed heavy. I don't. They're not going to push it for that. Right? I would like to see a slow push in here. They, the heavy's not going to do too much damage from that distance. Uh, so they actually, just walk yeah. it in slowly left. 
They're getting but, all the respawns. They could fight this. Yeah, it was they're running their own offensive. Yeah, it looks like they're actually coming in left now. The medic's committed? No. <laughs> yeah, he's backing up. He's all oh, this pilot is just going to go down. There, no, I, he might have wanted to get in, but I guess his medic told him differently. Oh, this is, the scout runs in and eats a sticky trap there, so both teams actually very slight uber advantage for Snellboat, but they're probably not going to recognize this. Are they just going to walk a heavy in on the left side? Hey, let's see, what do they like to do? Uh, yeah, pick this up speed, yeah, they're walking the, the big Russian man on the left side here. There's a bunch of rollers coming in. Haven't had they the pop just yet. yet. Yeah, this, this heavy is, just this needs to like get into them this with this, really and good. as they pop, this is going to be a worse uber, but they can Ooh. get some frags with this. Oh no, this heavy is just going to die. Oh, he kills a scout, but he's going to die yeah, the other heavy. And that heavy is still completely stacked. Snailboat should not be able to take this round here. As yeah, they're starting to bleed players, and they're starting Dude, to fall on top of us. Chasing, he's chasing them as he's gonna try to get a sticky on the mid. It's not gonna do anything. That's full. Let's see. This is what I was gonna ask you about. Like, what is your opinion on like the heavy sniper defense when holding stake water last, like trading both your scouts? <laughs> it's good, but then it also you know it's bad because you can't push out. So it leads to these type of situations where teams just end up keep defending last and. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of it just because eventually you're gonna like something's gonna happen, your med's gonna get picked, or uh, your heavy's gonna die. Like, if you never try and push out, eventually something's gonna go wrong. So that's where like the heavy sniper, uh, you know, ends up hurting you because it doesn't let you take two. So, yeah, if you have both scouts, you're able to push back in. And it looks like, uh, yeah, whoever's on sniper again is Alex. So I think they're just content to sit here for a while until like. Uh, wipe the other team, which is something that doesn't happen that often. Yeah, a lot of times teams just kind of like half commit to a push, then back out like their combo demo. And yeah. Things start to go sour, so that's where you just see these snake water holds that last forever. Like, it's so I'm kind of in agreement with you on the heavy sniper thing because I felt like that last fight, if their heavy just went back scout like ASAP, they could have pushed out because you yeah. saw like Duatno pushing out through the top lobby, but I mean without scouts, nobody's gonna count too. So. And B man looks like he's suicidal. He might be trying to go sniper or something here. Uh, they yeah. trade. They could push in five on five here, but I guess yeah, they're just gonna wait for B man to respawn as sniper, maybe spy. Let's see what he. Stain scout. See, Stain scout. Oh, is they're oh, just they're gonna, gonna Uber go in on the right while the roaming soldier is yeah. dead. And Uber is both force from both sides. They're not really able to get a whole lot with this and. Uber is just about to fade for Runaway 5, but like, the uh, pick's not going in their favor. Snowball just needs to back up because they're still trying to peek that door. They just need to get out of here. They still have the heavy, and uh, we're just going to see another hold here now. If, uh... If uh, Snailbot was paying attention, they'd know that they used their Uber a bit earlier on that push, and if they built this really fast, they could actually do a quick push and on the advantage, but it looks like they're not building it that fast, so... Yeah. That's one of the pushes I actually really love seeing on these maps, where you Uber in early and force the other team, but you get out, so you still have all your players up, and you have the Uber advantage, and you just push back in with it, but it's something you don't see a lot of IM medics do, just because they're not keeping track of that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, because a lot of times you can get like 10, 15, sometimes even 20% advantage because the team won't expect you to yeah, push back in, as it looks like they're taking the Uber in through underside, but their <laughs> pocket soldier gets popped they really early. With the demo, man. This is, these pocket Ubers are not working, there's yeah. just not enough damage. You have to take the demo man against the heavy. Oh, his uh, SS hits a nice air shot, but he might die to his scout. Oh, we have the, the overhealed heavy. heavy underneath, so we have heavy on heavy action here. As the picks are actually in, in their she favor. Has some stickies on them. So the heavy's starting to walk in top right as he's getting completely overhealed yeah. here, <laughs> but the rest of his team isn't there. I feel like if when you do the heavy repush, you need to have like your team kind of play around him, but like snailboats also just spread out here. So we're probably gonna just. See another stalemate, wait for another yeah, leader here. I mean, snailboats don't look like they really have a strat on how to push this. They, they're they just trying different things and hoping that one of them are going to work. They, they don't know how to counter this heavy defense. And what they just really need to do is lead with their demo man. That's the only thing that can do enough damage yeah. on the heavy. They're trying to take their pocket soldier in, but they're just getting forced really early because of it, and they're not doing anything with their ubers. So it looks like yeah. they're just trying to come in left here. And I don't know what they're trying to do. They're taking a ton of damage already. Yeah, they're gonna have to pop they right here, and everyone's really low on health. They have a scout trying to edge point, but the Uber's already a lot worse. 
And I have he's already taken chip damage, so he's not gonna get that big crit heal and they're just bleeding players all over the place and Okay, R5 this this heavy needs to like swap up now. Yeah, this, this, is, this is what you their got best here. bet to push it out. Two, only two up for uh snails, the mech and heavy, they just gotta get out of there. Yeah, yeah so this heavy is heavy. dropping pretty yeah. low. Or well, DJC <laughs> just it's the drops to the heavy is uh Heavy finally goes down, and Scarlet almost dying as well as Sia. It's a thing, Heavy kind of counters soldiers, like, that's why as you were saying, like, you heal the demo man, he's the best class at doing yeah, the Heavy. Either that or you just give her two scouts in and just get them to both shoot the Heavy up until he uses. But Soldier, rockets just don't do enough damage, it's like 100 damage a rocket, take like four of them and then you have to reload, it's just not possible to, like, take down the Heavy with it. Yeah, it definitely is, a uh, oh. We were at, um, the last with some stalemating, but now we're gonna see stalemating here at this 2, so... Yeah, so it's on Snailboat I, to kinda figure out how to push into this 2. They're I think go. with, like, Dummy on the team, I know he did, like, a lot of calls for some of the invite teams he was on. I, I think he would have, like, an idea of how to push last there, but... I can, maybe he's taking just this more for fun and not trying to be the main caller as much, and I am. Yeah, it could be, uh, it could just be he's taking the backseat role, like he's, hey, I'm Roamer, yeah. I'll show up and play. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, I'm not gonna be super serious, as, oh, he gets 300 of bombs in on the medic, and whips two rockets and hits one for 50, so... Overseer's still alive with that uber. Is R5 gonna try and push around. out yeah. here? Yeah, Duwatna kinda leading the way here with his pocket soldier Scarlet. And, uh, yeah, they're taking this in the middle here, I like this, rather than just waiting. And, uh, Scarlet's gonna get forced here, as he forces their uber as well, but their uber is not that great. And his health is pretty low, he might go down here. A lot of flashing going on for R5, and Huber's slightly better here for Snailboat, but both teams trading kills here. The next two, whoever gets the two pick advantage, I feel like, is gonna win this win this fight. Is it still 4 on 4? Do what? They just cut it in. They just said all, they all fell out. Oh, wait. Oh, B Man just two shot that scale, but uh, now he goes down, yeah. so. Duwata yeah. doing a lot of damage and yeah, sort of cleaning up the fight there. All the players on the Runaway 5 there basically fell out, and they just collapsed right back in on all the Snailboat's players, and there's fire coming from like three different directions, and just like swarmed on them and took down like five in like two seconds. So that was pretty good by them. Yeah, definitely, as we see about a 25% Uber advantage for uh, R5. I hope they push off of that, because, uh, you know, Stalemate's never really that fun to spectate. As, uh, they're starting to build this, looks like they're starting to posture themselves in Saw Room and see Snellboat holding pretty far back, realizing that they're at a disadvantage. And this R5 isn't... about to get them. They're gonna have to go fast on the medic here though, it's not that much of a van. I think they probably think they have more than they do. They're taking this pretty slow. Yeah, they and... Snailboat's gonna end up getting this. He should this. get the Uber, he's close, yeah, he's gonna get it. Yeah, they're gonna come out. They gotta try and block too, though. They can't let that cap happen. Yeah, SS with the right response, jumping on point here, so... This is actually pretty good for Snailboat, but oh, the frags just... Dummy goes down, this is gonna be another DM fight. It's gonna be that two-pick advantage, I think. Whoever gets the yeah, kill, Snailboat goes down, really but, right now, but Soldier goes down, it's four on four. This could still go either way, but it might just stalemate out here, and... Yeah, that looks to be yeah. the case, so these Both teams... Both of them look content to just hold their position and... Get their respawns, but the yeah, so, oh, wait, right, actually, trying to come back in and doing a lot of damage here, but yeah, he's caught and he should go down. That should cue the push as a scout trying to edge point as well. And that should this should be the push though from uh snail two dead, They now yeah. have like a 35 advantage as well as two picks, especially no demo man. I mean, he just kind of walk into mid because there's no sticky trap. I don't think they know that this I don't know what Overseer is doing. I don't know how she only has 60%. They both used Uber at the same time, so I don't think Snellbots know they have this advantage, but they do have the picks though, so they should be taking in on that at least. Yeah, they're walking in a minute right now. Their pocket soldier went out through the uh, the bridge area as he's starting to leave point. He just kind of needs to get in there. I feel like uh, potentially milking this too long as now. The other team is able to get their Uber. Both Ubers are exchanged on point. SS trying to go for Duatna. Not able to finish the kill though. I'm thinking this Uber is a lot better for Snailboat, but it's gonna come down to the frags. Yeah, Duatna goes down. SS is doing a lot of damage with this Uber, and the kill should probably go in his team's favor here. Overseer goes down, but I mean, this, they got all the kills they need, and this it's should just be a big kill. scouts flying around, Zox. You can think oh. of that. Crux was so a really nice kill there to take him down. Fight, though. He took down uh, Snailboat's medic and. Yeah, that's gonna give him at least an opportunity to defend last here without worrying about the uber advantage. 
Yeah, we might see DJC actually. Yeah, DJC and Duarte are gonna use these heals to come out and contest too. I like this response rather than yeah, just definitely. giving it up here. Crux, oh, there's a demo like man out here. Crux is kind of oh, caught out. Wow. He's able to kill Duarte now. So both teams trading demos. DJC might go down to the scout here. Is yeah, he goes down to the scout. So Galeboat's coming yeah. in really aggressive here, but their health just isn't good. This is another four on four fight here. So. Snailboat with this aggression is kind of catching R5 off guard as they're only three up to the Snailboat's four and they're starting to back up here. Yeah, that was, that was good by them. They just got the picks that they needed. It was just, that came down, that came down to DM right there. And they yeah, kept, definitely. They won those 1-1. One -one. Although, from watching Dummy so far this game, it really doesn't seem like he knows exactly what he's supposed to be doing yet on Roamer. I've seen him just like, bomb in and die on so many plays that if he just stayed alive, they'd have numbers advantage. So I'd like to see him try and focus on staying alive a bit more, other than just trying to get crazy bombs and do a lot of damage with them. Yeah, definitely. As we see the uh, heavy sniper defense coming out once again, uh, is Snailboat doing the four-man suicide play? Yeah, I like from, this. From uh, your good old They almost get the Force Overseer! Wow, what a hold. 30 HP. And you get by her. But... It's they're trying to push out here, but uh, Snailboat still has the Uber, so and they're gonna this have some spawns kind of coming out. Yeah, this is actually this is gonna be real good for Snailboat, even though Overseer still has the course, medic to yeah. kill a soldier here. Like now they're just gonna scatter. Like as long as they don't go down two, I feel like Snailboat should they're make us. They lose one. <laughs> oh, Snailboat! Snailboat's, Snailboat's wow. medic is able to stay alive with ten health oh, there. And we have a scout on the back though. cap here. No, <laughs> B-Man goes crossbow. down to an arrow from the medic. It's, uh, it's just dummy crux and the medic lag for Snailboat. They need to back up here. His dummy, I think, went up drop down here. Yeah, they need to pull it back a little bit. Wait for their spawn. Uh, no, <laughs> runway five not pushing out. So see, that's another thing with the heavy sniper defense is like, sure they killed three people relatively quickly, but then they can't push out. So by the time they did try to push out, the spawns were already up for uh, Snailboat, and they just had the exchange on point. Yeah, and uh, sorry, but what is Snailboat's medic's name again? Uh, like, is his alias in ESEA his uh, actual name? His, ac his name is just Sparrow. Oh, that's some Sparrow? Okay, ESEA yeah, that alias. Was, I gotta give him props for that. Like, that was pretty <laughs> funny. The devil man was Ubered for like five seconds, just like standing in front of him, trying to hit him with pills or stuff. And he somehow managed to get out of that with 2 HP and keep, you know, his team basically able to hold 2 because of that. Yeah, definitely. But uh, here we see both teams running the sniper, so we have. Sniper duels right here. B-Man versus that, I believe, is Downpour for Runway 5. is B-Man almost getting dropped to a soldier bomb right there, but uh, he's able to stay alive. So is he going to try and peek this lower side again? Let's set my camera on him, because it's sort of on him to make the pick happen. Yeah. He's seen to push less. Uh, I guess he's just trying to wait for the medic to peek here, because he's... Uh, oh, he, he, shot he the body shots the soldier. Yeah. He drops him to 50 health, but uh, no luck with the kill there. Now he's trying this top left side. So far, doesn't see anything. Oh, oh this, is the, this is the shot on the sniper. He's standing still. Yeah, he can just keep doing this as much as he wants. The Runaway 5's not putting like any pressure on him. The only thing they're doing is relying on their counter sniper to shut him down. Yeah, this is a, kind of the problem when you sit back with a heavy sniper defense. Is you give the other team a lot of space yeah, if they run their own sniper. Yeah, they're just trying to shoot rollers and rocket spam to shut him down. I would just think, like, like to see him do a full charge here. and. Just body yeah. shot somebody. Right. He I body think he, shots the make a peek in, he can make a peek in for the heavy here. Where's the heavy holding? He, yeah, he's just like open in the right there. He oh, misses, he misses stand, the sniper. He's still sniper. Yeah. As uh, oh my TF2 just crashed, so it's on me right. right now. <laughs> All right, he's. We see B Man still just switching doors, switching, it, and he finally gets counter snipe. But I doubt we're gonna see Runaway Five do anything to try and push out on this. It's. They got the P, they got the sniper, they're fine just defending last year. And honestly, I in their shoes I'd probably do the same. Getting one pick on this map isn't good enough to try and push out from last from. There's a couple maps like Badlands that you can try it, but it's yeah, they actually get another pick here, but I don't know if we're gonna see anything yet. DJC actually tries to push from underneath behind them, but the scouts end up shutting him down, so uh, they're just gonna fall back, maybe get another counter sniper, and just, just hold here with the heavy some more. This is what Snake Order can do. If teams don't know how to push, or teams 
are like afraid to push, then it can just lead to this, where neither team ends up getting anything. And uh, I would like to see the four-man suicide shot again, because that has probably the best chance of working out. But I think they don't want to risk it again. They just Uber in a scout here, which is one of the things I would like to see. They Uber him in and fall back out. The medic gets caught in a little bit, but he's able to make it out. They get a pick over left, and now the scouts are both coming in left side. They rotated left, and now they're all coming in with a six on five push. All right, I am back in the game as a. Yeah, neither team has Uber here, and I'll... they just need a couple of frags here for Snail. Yeah. They can Cross win this. They have a lot of damage on that heavy. And I think this should be Snailboat finally cracking into this last and taking a round here. As there's just two people up, Duatna, DJC, just DJC as he bombs in the point, but he should go down, and <laughs> Snailboat yeah. finally taking the round here. I'm not sure if you how they did that. They Ubered in the right door, forced the other team's Uber, and then rotated all the right way around and came in left. It was a really good push, and I think if they try that again, it could work. Ah, so they uh, they just popped Ubers for the sake of getting yeah, the forces, then Uber they drive push Uber. left. I like yep. that. As, uh, well, we're rolling out to mid here. I'm gonna watch B-Man on scout here as he's playing on this top right side. Pretty standard places. He sees a scout on the ground here. That scout eating a lot of damage early. But both teams trading scouts here as, uh, so far a lot of damage actually going on to the pocket soldiers for both teams. But no frags happening just yet. As, wow, this is a really slow development. <laughs> yeah, they're the five just on dodging five here and It looks like Runway 5 not having the positioning. Oh, but they're able to pick off Snailboat. Um, everyone really low health on runway wow. 5, so Snowboat can still fight this. It's a Zalox on 5 again. Zalox actually respawned and is back in mid now as both teams have Uber. And, wow. Uh, they're just letting him cap. This is like the weirdest snake water minute I've ever seen. As both teams <laughs> finally <laughs> pop their Uber. While the mid fight's going wow, on. as a. You gotta block cap here. No, wait, actually, no, you can't block cap. He's just gonna get caught. Uh oh, this is not looking good for runway 5 as they lose their comp. Which means they're probably going to end up losing two here in what was yeah. the weirdest snake water middle I have ever seen. Yeah, they're going to end up losing two and having to defend last here with an uber disadvantage. So they're in a tough situation. But yeah, that middle, just like neither team... Actually, it looks like Snapple's just going to be going straight in here without Yeah, they uber. should push right now there's, there's no here, heels though. or pocket oh, soldier. And there's the dead right and it. pocket soldier jumps in. Man, so just... far there's no overheals on Runway 5 as uh, the soldier goes down, but now the health isn't that great for Snailboat either. So they're sitting here too long, taking a lot of spam. But finally they're getting the pick advantage. SS is doing a lot of damage Only two here. up, they got it. Two up, and yeah, this should be another round as they go 3-1 yep. in the halftime here. So our predictions are looking pretty good there, eh, Hart? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Not that I, you know, I want one team win more than the other, but I like if my prediction's correct, so... I might say I'm rooting a little bit for SS just to make it look like I know more about TF2. <laughs> but, uh, crystal ball. Yeah. <laughs> I liked, I really liked how they did that though. They they could have just waited and got in the Uber and they would have had like a 40 or 50 advantage uh, snail boats, but this kind of lasts. Even if you have Uber advantage when you push in, it can just be so hard sometimes just because it's such a long last. If you get forced early, it's really hard to get into them. And if the other team's running a heavy, like Runaway 5 has been, it's just so hard with Uber. So they just decided to get in before the other team had their medic respawned. So nobody was overhealed on Runaway 5, and then they just got the picks on the players who weren't buffed. And so I really like how they played that. That was a really aggressive round after a really weird mid that wasn't aggressive at all. Yeah, definitely. That was just. That was a funny mid to watch. Yeah, happened, but uh, <laughs> eventually, like uh, the thing was, uh, Snailboat they kind of had like the positioning on point. Whereas Runway Five, they were kind of backing out their lower. So like when they forced the Ubers, like as soon as they couldn't get in the point, Runway Five was kind of boned in that position. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, I guess Zalex had died instantly at mid, and the scout respawn was already in mid by the end of the fight, but. It didn't make a difference, just the Uber was so much better for snail boats that that's the reason they won the mid and ended up winning around because of it. Yep, definitely is. So, I'm gonna pull up some stats here. Let's see who are the uh, the big fraggers and damage dealers for this okay. map. Yeah, I'd imagine to see Dummy out near the bottom just because I haven't seen him do much of anything so far this game. And yeah, he is bottom fragging for the server. And yeah, he is 10 for 20 with 5.4k damage. Yeah, again, out damage uh, by one of their scouts. 
Yeah, their top fragger, B Man, with 6666 six, six, six damage. Maybe a sign. Yeah, it could be a sign the end is coming, but he's 23 and 15 at the moment. The next highest fragger being Scarlet, the pocket soldier from Runway 5, with 19. So the frags are, both teams are pretty much the same frags, 75 and 74, but uh. Yeah. Run Runway 5 actually dealing more damage, about 2k more damage, but yeah, Snailboat is just able to convert off of their damage. Yeah, it's probably from Duwatna doing, I think, 2,000 more than Crocs 3,000 more, it looks like. Yeah, Duwatna top damaging by yeah. a lot. Next half is going live right now, though. Oh. As uh, let's see, who do we follow mid? I guess I want to see Duwatna's damage because he's you know out damaging Crux by three thousand. So I want to see what he's doing these mid that's right. getting them that damage. So far, no damage coming out of him just as he tries to. It's a nice sticky on the scale. He's trying to finish off that scale. Oh, not really doing so much this mid as he's okay. He's able to pick off dummy there. Trying to put some damage on another soldier, but like the health not that great for him here. As he's twenty three and yeah, the scout's just gonna run in. But we have another three on three fight here with these mids. I. Uh, Pocket demo versus two scouts. Who do you think is going to win this? Win this but it looks yeah. like they're just going to back up. Ooh, I would have liked to see him stay in with those buffs. But oh, it I guess uh, Overseer oh, is already all the way out. Yeah, if Overseer yeah. would have stayed in there and given both the scouts the buffs. On Snakewater mid, that's I would have given it to the scouts. Because yeah. I feel like the longer a mid fight goes on, like, you know, your pocket and demo. They're only strong when they have everything reloaded, but yeah. like otherwise, scouts like when they have six scatters loaded and a buff, they just run into you. Yeah, especially on Snake Water, man, with all the geometry, you can jump off of the little huts and everything. Yeah. It'd be hard for a soldier to get some rockets on there. But I guess Overseer had different things in mind. She wanted to make sure she got the Uber so they'd at least be able to defend two with it, which, you know, that's respectable, but I would like to see a little more aggressive play on their parts with it. Yeah, because so far, I mean, Snowboat's aggression is really, they're just out-muscling Runway 5 on some of these fights, and, like, it's sort of on Runway 5 to step it up here, as we see a Soldier Bomb from Dummy as he dies instantly, doing about 30 damage to the <laughs> Medic, there, yeah. and, uh, Snailboat, when they're in this position, pushed down, it looks like, is Runway 5 gonna try to push out? Yes, they are, they're taking their Pocket Soldier through lower here. He's probably not gonna have the greatest of Ubers as well. Actually, no, the Ubers are relatively even here, as he's jumping around trying to find something to shoot, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Snailboat kind of scattering here. The rest of his team needs to come in wow. right now. He's, he's just gonna die. And yeah, the rest of his team is already all the way back, so they kind of left him to die there. So just this passive play from Runaway Five. They're slowly losing it. I feel like they need to start committing on fights here. Is uh, they lose a the soldier as well, so now they have no soldiers, which means they're gonna lose this two point. Like their best bets to just back up to last and hope they build this Uber in time and have it to hold last. Yeah, they just got muscled out there again from two. They just keep giving up these points. And they're coming in again without Uber. Snailboat looks like they want to just get in here. No Uber versus no Uber, which it's worked out for them well so far. And, it's like it's and yeah, it looks like they're about to do it again. And they're going to go up, well, four to one here. So Snailboat with this aggression being pretty dominant at the pretty, moment, I have to say. Yeah, I. they're just saying, you know, we don't need Ubers to take these points, we're just gonna get in on you guys and make you guys defend against us, and so far Runaway 5 hasn't been able to do it. Yep, but they haven't, as, uh, let's see, who's the man to watch this bit? I'm gonna give Snailboat, I mean, the scout the team's named after, let's see what he does at this bit, as he eats an early sticky, and he eats another early sticky, so... He's not going to be doing much, but here we have DJC bombing in on the Met Devil. He's able to kill the Medic here as well as the Scout, I think. No, he had to, isn't able to finish off the Scout. Scout's able to pick him off, but uh, Runway 5 coming away with a mid fight here of their own, but luckily for Snailboat, they were able to kill Overseers, so Runway 5 won't have an Uber to just walk into last with. Yep, and that's something that Runway 5 hasn't been able to do when Snailboats wins the middle. Normally, whenever Snailboats wins their mids, they're able to take two with the Uber, and then also just push in last without Uber for either team, but Snailbots were able to take down Overseer, so they're just going to be here even on Ubers at 2. So they're not in that bad of a situation, especially up 4-1 on this map. Yeah, this is, the pressure now is really on R5, like, they can't just sit back and like, I feel like the style they're trying to play is where you're trying to hope the other team makes a mistake, 
and like you can get free picks and kind oh, of push him with that. Crits right now, so oh, I guess crits? we're gonna see something from here. Yeah, they got. Uh, here we go. So Duan, the man of the moment. I mean, he's doing a lot of damage. So maybe they're hoping critsing him might turn the tides. As it crits into cheese, and he drops the soldier and the devil Ooh, right here. Nice. He might get a third. Yeah, the soldier goes down. So this is actually really bad for Snowboat. Yeah, they shouldn't Uber out to block. This is the right response. Just save it. <laughs> To, to hold their last, because anytime you try to block a point when you two down, they're just that's just the losing the Uber now, Yeah, they're going to try to force the Uber here with their numbers. I really like this aggression from R5. Finally, is uh oh, they the scout goes out. This is actually get really, out. really bad. Is Can they get out? Yeah, they're getting out with at least Okay, five. they're able to get out. All they did was sack a scout, so that was really good. So now they got full crits advantage. I think Stablets might try and push out here, though, because they know they're on a disadvantage. No, it looks like they might just try and hold aggressively and Yeah, I like I like the positioning here from Snailboat, holding close to the doors yeah. rather than sitting back because like that's the worst thing you can do is sit back and just let Crit Stickies land on you. Yep. They're gonna just try and get right in, do what in that space when they come in and see if they can kill him easily. They're coming from as underneath a, though. Underneath as oh the pocket soldier goes down this crit and they get really right gonna do anything actually. They're just gonna get shot there down. So wow, failed crits out of R5 here. A really nice hold from a snail boat with that up close. Yeah. And I feel like R5 trying to go in through lower without any information was like the worst position possible. Yeah, they were set up perfectly for that. Oh, the scout's hiding now. He gets right out of the medic. Oh, and he's he gonna get the medic. Wow, and he drops the medic. So I mean, I don't know how no one checked there, but yeah. snail boat's still on heavy pushing up here, and now he's without a medic. Uh, yeah, and the health, the heavies, they're like, just the soldiers in general, just trying to find some health, they're trying to peek into yeah. mid, but they're not going to get anything, as the heals are there at mid now, and the demo man Duatna, sort of the star of the moment, is yeah. just keeping them locked out. They may have had the numbers advantage there on Sailboat's spot, uh, they didn't have any heals there, so it was only a matter of time before they got weak and had the fallout, and now Overseer has a good 50% advantage that they can push in with here, and it looks like she's back on Uber on this one. Yeah, definitely. Is, uh, they're probably going to try another left side push here through Saw, led by their pocket soldier Scarlet. Yeah, he's trying to clear the stickies here, moving at about 90%. Positioning for Snailboat. They have the soldiers sitting in cheese, and everyone's pretty far back either in the ramp or in top lobbies. They're trying to put some spam here, but somebody has to get this force. You can't let them just walk in that cleanly. As, uh, yeah, Demo Man's going to go down. Are they going to be able to get a second pick with this? I feel yeah, like they, they should, should still roll going. in the last. Yeah, yeah, no demo, this is easy for them to get in now. And at least yeah. force the other team's Uber. Is but, it? No, are they going to oh, stalemate out? Please. See, this is where Snailboat... I feel like Snailboat would have pushed them this Yeah, they're, they're trying to go try now, but they waited so long. That's not going to yeah, work against they, the Heavy. The Heavy's just going to kill everything, so R5 kind of... I mean, that was another opportunity right there where they just didn't go for it, man. It's, I mean, they're running out of chances at this yeah. point. They need to start taking these risks. I mean, it might seem risky, but if you do it right, it's like, it has the potential to work out, as Snowboat has shown. Uh oh, Overseer, she went the wrong way and got caught out there. They, that just went really bad for them. They're gonna lose mid here, too. Yeah. No med demo, as well as their roaming soldiers, so, I mean, the scouts, are they going to be able to get anything going here? Is the scouts fighting dummy oh, Sorry, Zalox. He's going for the backup here, yeah, yeah. I think. He's going yeah, to get Zalox is behind on two. He's They're probably going to draw some sort of response here. Something has to go back, or he's going to get this cap. There's the yeah, soldier. brought back four but, of them. But... Yeah, well, everybody coming back, so this is really nice. Is he going to kill the demo? Oh, he should have committed on Crux yeah. there, I feel like, because even if he had died, if he would traded with the demo, would have been like really good, but uh, still, he draws the entire enemy team back and allows his team to get forward spawns here at least. Yeah, uh, I mean that was good by Zelox. I feel like his team could have at least tried to hold mid there while the rest of the team fell back, but I guess they weren't in position. And now Snailbolt is pushing in with this Uber. Yeah, is a uh, oh. Uber's forced tier scout. I mean, they're able to kill a soldier. They're gonna get two soldiers here, and uh, E-Man's running in the last two lower it. here. Yeah. No, he spots the heavy. He runs, yeah. and he just kind of dies. Their medic goes down. So this is actually not that great for Snowboat. But once again, I mean, they have this heavy, and they're trying to push out with the heavy. This is uh, not gonna work. It takes he, too long. Yeah, there's no. You can't get enough cap time with it. I feel like having yeah. to switch scout now looks like yeah, it's running back. And I mean, the spawn. spawns are already coming up for a Snowboat. Like, see, he's swapping scout like now, but. That was like their window right yeah. there. That's another -Man's opportunity. Sniper here now. But He's they just lose. And yeah, get... they drop oh, their demo wow. to a trap. This is just bad news bears. Like, they should get out. 
Like, now, nah, because this isn't going to work. If they drop their pocket, they lose. Yeah. Okay, now their pocket's alive. So they're going to have this uber to hold last, but I mean, B-Man's on Sniper, and now that the other team has no demo, he's going to try and take a couple of free shots here. <laughs> Dummy just does a jump in. <laughs> yeah, he's... Dummy jumps in. He might go down here. A lot of rollers coming in, man. Not really connecting with anything. Well, it bangs with the pocket soldier and Dummy. Oh, he's able to drop the heavy. <laughs> but uh, losing the pocket soldier as well. A couple trades on Sniper, yeah. So here, once again, we have the Sniper duel. But uh, so far, B-Man, I think, has been getting the... Uh, the slide upper hand in these duels is, oh, his scout opens the door to take the shot on the sniper, but closes it right as he shoots. So he's I gonna mean, try it again. Runaway 5's just been in a situation so many times, defending their last tier, and they just never push out from it. It seems like the couple times they've been on their last, eventually snail boats are able to get a push that works. And I think that's mostly just because, what we talked about earlier, the type of hold that Runaway 5 does, they can't really push out, they're just stuck at yeah. their last. Like, Heavy Sniper is good for turtling, but, like, that's the thing, eventually you do have to push out, like, they're banking on, like, the perfect situation where, like, Snailboat pushes in and everybody dies, which generally doesn't happen on the last, like, Snake Water. Because, uh, B-Man goes for an aggressive pick here and he dies, but, I mean, at this point, they can just run the clock down. Yeah, they have, you know, there's no reason that they should push, I mean... Um, they're up 4-1, so, you know, they might feel like they can just push in just so they don't bore themselves to death or anything, but... Yeah. There's, you know, they're up 4-1, the other, there's probably only like 15 minutes, something like that left, so the clock is in their favor. It's up to Runaway 5 to do something. Yeah, I don't think we'll see any parking the bus, I mean... Yeah, they don't seem like the, the kind of team to do that. Like, scout in on the right, as he's just gonna try and go kill the soldier. Is he gonna be able to take off DJC? Yeah, no, but he trades. Much better Uber here for R5. I want to see if Snailboat does the thing where they shove left again. Is yeah, it looks, it looks like, like they're going They're in. setting up for it. Yep, yeah, the scout, scout runs in. in. Oh, this is gonna be... He's fighting the soldier, shot. but there's too much damage. The rollers yeah. came in at the perfect time, and Duat and I just shut them down. Runaway 5 needs to push out here. They can't just Yeah, they have two scouts. Like, this is... They're, everyone on Snailboat is still hurt and they're falling back. Like, this is your chance. You gotta take it as a <laughs> they scout. They lose one of their scouts, though. Just dies to the sticky trap going out ramp. And, and now they're falling back. Yeah. This has so the, many times. We have the spy actually coming out from Snailboat, the man himself. It's uh, disguised as a scout here. It's interesting to note that he's, wow, once again, Overseer actually falling behind when it was like pretty much equal Ubers. Yeah, but, but uh, it looks like they're just gonna try and do the spy play, or yeah. they might. Oh, they Uber in actually, and yeah, R5 doesn't have it, and this should be game as yeah. Snailboat steps the demo, <laughs> and this is gonna be Too game up. right here. As, that, uh, I knew that was eventually gonna come back and hurt them. There were so yeah. many times where Overseer built a lot slower than the other team's medic, but Snailboat's never realized it or took advantage of it, but this final push. It finally, you know, ended up costing them the round for slow building, so... Final score is 5-1 for Snailboat's Boat over the Runaway 5. And yeah, pulling out the, uh, the upset here, um... I mean, best thing are predictions, but quite a margin, I have to say, with, uh, just their aggression and, you know, being willing to take those fights and some risk and push it out, and so... They, uh, pull out the win here, 5-1. to one. Yeah, and it looks like... B-Man, I would definitely say, was man of the match for Snailboats, I think. He ended up top fragging for the game with 30 frags and doing a pretty good 9,300 damage as scouts, out damaging their roamer and every other scout easily. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. And uh, when your scout, like, see, that's the thing. When you commit on fights, your scouts generally do more damage and get more frags, whereas, like, when you look at the scouts on uh, R5, like Hoska, who is down poor, like sure he did 8k, but a lot of that came from sniping. Like the other scout with only like 6.6k. Because like when you don't take like fights, your scouts can't really do much, so... Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, I don't got any other closing uh, statements you want to make for this cast? I don't know, just shout out to Madman, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> not much else on my part. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was a good game, and uh, I guess on the news standpoint, it looks like Kawaii 5 0 ended up beating Chill to Good Ratio 5 4 in their game, so oh. that's definitely an upset for the playoffs. Yeah, so pretty much two upsets if you go by the seedings uh, tonight, so yeah, these uh, IM playoffs are definitely pretty interesting. Yeah, I think that's how IM is this season. I 
I think it's great. This is the first season where it seems like a lot of the teams in it are able to compete against each other. Maybe yeah, but... maybe not against your team. We'll see how you guys do, but <laughs> yeah, this playoffs are definitely full of crazy upsets, close matches, and I feel like all the teams are pretty close in skills, so yeah, I don't think I got anything else to say. Uh, I guess thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, this was Team Fortress TV cast with Blank and Heart Blue and Truck Truck on camera. And uh, yeah, I guess see you next time. Laters.